When I've almost stepped on them, I've shrieked and jumped. Aaron's is a common reaction for people that come across a slithering snake. I noticed it and we walked around it and made sure our dogs didn't notice it because if they had, they would have gone right up to it and that wouldn't have been good. Here at Park Hudson Trail, there's a sign that lists some of the snakes that you can see here. Obviously, if you do encounter a snake, the best way to observe is to keep a distance. They're mostly a retiring kind of an animal. They want to they want to be near cover. Now, if you happen to accidentally step on one and get bit, take yourself or your pet to the hospital immediately. All bites vary. Not every bite turns out to be serious, but if you wait until it's serious, then you've missed your, your sort of your golden opportunity to be at the hospital. Vets say most snakes tend to bite pets on their faces. We always worry when they're bit on the face or around the throat because if they get enough swelling then they can't breathe very well. Because Erin fears a snake bite, she's more than happy to look at them from a distance. I think they're fascinating and interesting, but I don't really want to touch them. And she hopes people also take her approach and stay away from them. Monica Castro, KAGS HD News.